for a long time. And I think it, it just seems like the retail investor has the upper hand. He conceded that AMC shares are probably not worth what they're worth right now on a fundamental basis. Maybe they're worth 20 or 25 bucks a share. But he also said that at 47 or whatever it's trading at right now, I don't know what it is in the after hours, um, that that is what the market is valuing AMC shares at right now. And that is all that matters. And Tim, you're already shaking your head. Why not? Why, why isn't that the case? Because short sellers aren't going after retail investors. They're going after bad companies. I mean, it's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Smart guy, but I mean, come on. I, I, I'm tired of this. And this, you know, this going after the man thing. I mean, look, it, it, yes, you can make money in momentum. You can lose money in momentum. But again, it's like Mr. Obvious Day. All right. That, that to me is a dynamic here um, that, that, that ultimately the momentum that's being uh, where the genesis is in a chat room. It, it, and, and yeah, I mean, price can be truth in terms of a company being able to issue shares at a higher price doesn't change the company's business. Uh, Rich Greenfield also talked about Cinemark and other theater companies that aren't going through this kind of renaissance. Uh, and I mean, in terms of their share price. So, uh, again, I, I, I the investing with a incentive to track momentum is what a lot of professionals do. So mm -hmm. let's be clear. Um, but in terms of looking at this as an us versus them, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not buying into that. I think that's dangerous. And, and again, look, there's a lot of people. There are a lot of short sellers out there that have been borrowing stock they didn't have. In other words, yes, I think there are dynamics shorts, where yeah. retail investors can get caught. But it's 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 really a, a dynamic where I think this is going after bad companies. Yeah, but here's what's interesting. It is actually changing what Wall Street does, how it does it. Um, there's a report on Bloomberg saying that various prime brokers are tightening the requirements um, necessary in order to short some of these so-called meme stocks. Guy, I know you pointed this out. There's some firms that threw in the towel in terms of coverage of companies like a GameStop and an AMC because they are so divorced from what they call fundamentals at this point in terms of their price action. I mean, whether or not we like it, whether or not it's here to stay, at this moment in time, Wall Street is taking notice because they are.